Hello, my loves. Welcome to your love reading. So I hope everyone is safe, happy, healthy, and doing well. All right, my loves. So let's see what we have here for my beautiful Pisces. Clarity, guidance, love messages, please. Holy Spirit, for my beautiful Pisces. Clarity, guidance, love messages for my beautiful Pisces, please. Clarity, guidance, love messages for my Pisces, please. What do my Pisces need to know today, please? <clears throat> Holy Spirit, angel spirits, and God's clarity, guidance for my Pisces. Okay. So under the deck, Pisces, we have the Six of Cups. Okay. So we have the Empress and the uh, Queen of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy, Aries, Taurus, Libra, Cancerian energy. We have the Three of Wands and we have the Three of Pentacles, Pisces. So Pisces, with the Six of Cups, this could obviously be an ex. Okay, this could be an ex. This could be someone that you have children with. It could be someone that you were once married to or someone that you had a very strong soul tie with, a past life soul tie with. I feel like someone here is yearning to work something out with you, Pisces. Someone here really wants to make something work. And it could be because you guys are still married or because you have children together or because you've been together for a long time. But someone here really wants to make things work. Okay. Um, I'm not seeing communication as of yet. What I am seeing is that this person's yearning. They're they're missing you. They're They're wanting to reach out or vice versa, Pisces. This could be your side. I don't know, you know. So let's see here. Tell me about the Empress, please. Tell me about the Empress. Okay, so we've got the King of Wands, Leo, Sag, Aries energy. Tell me about the Queen of Pentacles. And we have the Knight of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. So there may be an age difference between you and this person, but I feel that um, someone here... I feel like they're coming in confident with a lot of romance. So now we're starting to see movement here, Pisces. Okay, so I feel like this person is going to come forward, whether that's you going towards someone or someone coming towards you. So I feel like someone here is confident that this is their empress or emperor, that they've met the one. And with that Knight of Cups energy, um, I feel like someone is coming in with love, stability, commitment. Someone here is, is moving towards the other person. Tell me about the Three of Wands, please. The Three of Wands, the Nine of Cups. I feel like distance has made the heart grow fonder here. We've got the Six of Cups here, the Tower. I feel like this is something that ended very quickly, Pisces. This was a relationship that ended very fast. You guys just packed up your stuff, left, it ended, it was over. Like, it, it was just a bad fight. Someone picked up their bags and just left. Like, it just ended too quickly is the problem. And distance has made the heart grow fonder. Someone here is realizing what they had or it was a mistake to leave. Three of Pentacles and the Ten of Swords. Yeah, it was a really nasty ending with this person. But I feel like someone here is starting to realize Aquarian energy energy and the two of cups what they had the soul tie that you guys had that this is not a relationship that you guys could just find anywhere okay so it, this was a connection i feel that ended very abruptly very suddenly very quickly it was like one fight and boom someone walked out and it just never came back together again um, that ten of, of swords is betrayal pain you know but someone here does want to work it out they really do they're realizing what they lost clarity guidance love messages Tell me about Pisces, please. Tell me about Pisces, please. Clarity, guidance, love messages for Pisces, please. Clarity, guidance, love messages for Pisces, please. Okay. So we have... This was in the reverse. Okay. King of Cups, Piscean energy. We have the Five of Pentacles. I'm sorry, guys. I have to get rid of that uh, um, light behind me. It causes a glare. So we've got the Five of Pentacles. We have the Seven of Pentacles in the reverse. And we have the Four of Cups. Okay. Under the deck, we have the Five of Cups, the Ace of Swords, the Fool, the Knight of Wands, Leo, Sagittarius Energy, and that Two of Cups again. So, <clears throat> Pisces, I feel like what's happening here is... Um, 
I feel like someone doesn't want to give to this connection. Someone here is leaving someone out in the cold. They've abandoned ship. They don't want to think about the past. They don't want to invest in this connection. With the Four of Cups here, I feel like an offer is coming in. And Pisces, this might be your side. You might be rejecting it. Um, I feel like someone here does feel very guilty. I feel like they do realize that they were very irresponsible with your feelings, that they were very foolish. Someone here um, maybe wasn't taking the connection seriously, playing games, you know, wanting to be free, wanting to be, you know, sometimes it could be a representation of the player card, wanting to date around, but I feel like now they're realizing the connection that you guys had um, can't just be found anywhere. It just can't be replaced that easily. So let's see here. Spirit, tell me about this King of Cups energy, please. Tell me about the King of Cups for Pisces. Ooh, the King of Cups on top of the King of Cups. So I feel here, Pisces, the King of Cups in the Divine Masculine Energy uh, is one that even if there's love there, even if there's still feelings here, you've come to master your emotions, okay? So someone here is not operating from, you know what I'm saying? That they're not showing how they truly feel. Tell me about the Five of Pentacles. We've got the King of Pentacles in the reverse Capricorn Taurus Virgo Energy. You feel like someone here is non-committal. You may feel like they're coming towards you because they're on stable or broke and and you know what i'm saying they need money from you um that could be one thing too but ultimately this person's non-committal unreliable you know what i'm saying and you just don't want to deal with it anymore you don't want to deal with it anymore for some of you it could just be that this person needs money and you're not looking to invest seven of pentacles in the reverse you do not want to go backwards here, Pisces. Queen of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy. So we have the king to the queen of Pentacles. Guys, again, this may be someone that you're married to. It may be someone that you have a strong soul tie with. Um, I, I, it is it is a true pair, you know what I'm saying? Except this is in reverse, and that makes a big difference here. So I feel like, you know, financially, you guys might be well off, you know what I'm saying? But someone's rejecting an offer of commitment here. Uh, they're rejecting an uh, I mean, um. They're rejecting an offer of giving this a second chance. Someone here doesn't doesn't want it. Tell me about the Four of Cups. Tell me about the Four of Cups for Pisces. And the Queen of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. So we've got the King to the Queen of Cups, the King to the Queen of Pentacles. So there is love here in this connection, Pisces. It's the problem here is, is that one person is either non-committal or doesn't like to work, doesn't like to provide stability. And ultimately, this is what's causing the ending here. guidance love messages for Pisces please tell me about the challenge here please spirit tell me about the challenge here please holy spirit angel spirits and guides tell me about the challenge please okay so we have the six of cups we have the King of Pentacles in the upright, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy, and we have the Nine of Cups. So Pisces, we have this ex coming back that now wants to be the King of Pentacles in the upright. Someone here is realizing, you know, they had to walk away to realize what they've lost. Now they want to come in and make the right decisions. Distance has made the heart grow fonder here. And now they're like, you know what? I want my family back. I want this relationship back. I, I don't want to lose you. You know what I'm saying? I'll do what it takes to make you happy but that's going to be the challenge because i feel like someone's not really willing to look backwards at this point tell me about the outcome here for pisces tell me about the outcome here for pisces please tell me about the oh, okay nine of pentacles virgo energy pre-empress energy and the king of wands leo sag aries energy look at how this king is looking at the nine of pentacles let me just show you this so Pisces, you know, I feel like some one person here is single, independent, financially stable, just minding their own business, looking at the birds out in nature, maybe butterflies here. Um, and, and we have this king that's just sitting in this throne looking at her, okay, or him. Gender doesn't matter in tarot, guys. Virgo energy, Leo, Sag, Aries energy. Tell me about the outcome here for Pisces. And the full Aries energy. 
and the Eight of Swords with the Two of Wands. Someone here is basically kicking themselves in the butt for taking this path, for not taking the connection seriously. Okay, for not taking the connection seriously. And now I feel this King of Wands wants this pre-Empress energy to take a leap of faith again. Trust me one last time. You know what I'm saying? I, that's what I'm hearing. Trust me one last time. I promise you won't regret it. You know? Um... Let's see here, Pisces. Clarity and guidance, love messages for my Pisces, please. So we have a consciousness of lack. I'm telling you, this person is feeling your absence. True love. Distance has made the heart grow fonder here. This, the, the, the lack of you in their life, the, the loss of you in their life has really caused this person to see how much they love you. Okay, so behind a mask and hidden motivations came out. So I feel that, you know, The problem here is, is that this person didn't, maybe didn't have bad, good intentions when they were with you. Um, maybe it was for money or maybe this person, um, you know, cheated a lot. They didn't have good intentions, but because they lost you, yeah, because they lost you, they want to give you the love that you deserve, Pisces. Yeah, see, they're building up the courage here, Pisces. They're building up the courage because with present power, they have to make a decision on what path they want to take. Do they want to be single and go and still play games, or do they want something serious? They're trying to gain that courage to make the decision because they're stuck right now. This person cannot move on from you. Clarity, guidance. Love messages for my Pisces, please, spirit. Third chakra, Archangel Chamuel, Storm Warning, and Contract. So, Pisces, you may feel it brewing. You may get this, this feeling in your stomach that something's about to happen here, okay? But with contract here, I feel like you you there's this feeling of no, you don't feel the same way. Or no, like, yes, yeah, he's sixth chakra, Archangel Metatron. Um you may feel like this person is coming towards you, Pisces, like your intuition is telling you that this person's coming towards you, but not for the right reasons, not for the right reasons. You may feel like this person's coming towards you because they don't have money or because they need to you. It's just not the right reasons. It's going to be different for everybody, but you're going to feel it. You feel a storm brewing in your stomach and with the six, six chakra and contract, your intuition is telling you that something's not right about the situation. We've got action, indecision, and walking away. Um, I feel like the that, that you just want to get away from the situation. You're ready for rest. You're tired here. Um, this may be even a situation here where one person wants to make it work and the other person just simply doesn't, you know? Clarity, guidance, love messages for my Pisces, please. Trust the situations calling for you to have faith, heart-to-heart -heart conversations, honestly discuss your feelings with one another, and pay attention to the red flags. So you see, Pisces, I, I feel like someone wants you to trust them again. They want to come in, they want to open up their heart, but all you see is red flags with this person. I don't know what this person did to you, but I mean, it was really an ugly ending here. It was an ugly ending. And uh, you just don't trust them. You know, so are, you guys have free will. Some of you may see someone from the past is going to come in and make an effort. Okay. So, you know, everyone has, uh, is different. So you guys may reconcile, you may not, but I just don't see, for many of you, I just don't see you guys trusting this person. Okay. All right, guys. I love you and take care. Bye.